Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello everybody, welcome to Bosch Live. It's 6 p.m., it's Monday, that means we're here with you, we're hanging out and we're cooking, or in fact, today, we are baking something delicious. What are we baking, bro? What are we making? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. So, we have a load of good excitements. Excitements? <laughs> announcements. We have a load of good announcements to give to you lot today. Um, we are going to be baking the ultimate chocolate cake. Ooh. Ultimate Look chocolate at this. So, you may or may not have this book, but if not, don't worry, because we're going to show you how to cook this little beauty. That is the ultimate chocolate cake. Fudgy, delicious, sweet, and so, so chocolatey. This is incredible. It's actually really quick as well, Ian. Mm -hmm. it, it, how quick are we talking? I mean, like, is it like sort of half an hour? Is it 15 minutes? <laughs> What's quick with baking? I don't know. Well, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look over on camera three. So this is uh, what we're making. It is a super tasty, delicious cake. And I reckon we can get through this. We've got half an hour. Yeah, in this video. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to get through it in that half an hour. <laughs> and with a bit of waffle, it's probably only about 20 minutes cooking time. Mm -hmm. And then 25 minutes also bake time. So it's Monday today, and today is the start of a new week of Bosch Lives. And this week, it's quite a special week, isn't it? Oh man, it's so special. Because there is the exciting announcement. Did I said excitement before. Excitement about it. It is an excitement. There is an exciting announcement which we have to share with all of you. Look at this. Ooh. Top cam. Boom, boom. There we go. Wow, doesn't that look good? And what's that then? <laughs> so this is a Bosch Ultimate Chocolate Cake, which says on the packet that it is dark, moist, and delicious. This is now, as of today, available in supermarkets in the United Kingdom. <laughs> oh my what goodness. Is that? I mean, it's like the realization of four years of our dreams is to get products in the supermarket. So it's a really special day. You can now go and get these cakes for just £3.50 and they're vegan. Mm -hmm. They're available in big Tesco stores up and down the country and they'll be in more supermarkets before long. But right now, Tesco is the place. Yes, so if you want to go and buy that cake, fantastic. Um, make sure you don't go shopping more often than normal. Safety first. So try and, you know, we're doing weekly shops here at Bosch, in the Bosch household. So uh, try and fit that into your weekly shop if you can. But if not, fear not, because we're going to show you how to bake it right now. <laughs> so, first things first, I have a mixing bowl ready to mix. Now you could use a food processor for this bit, but we're going to be a little bit more old fashioned and a bit traditional and use a mixing bowl. Before that, we want two cake tins. Here we go. You could use one, but we're using two. These are both 20 centimeters and we have both greased the outside and the bottom and we used scissors and a pencil to just cut a little hole in the base there. So you want to get those bad boys ready. If you are cooking along, pause now, go do that. Come back, you back. Great, welcome back. Okay, now we're gonna mix the batter of our cake. This is so fun, it's so easy. There's a load of ways to do this, but we're gonna do it really quickly and simply. Boom. First things first, we have cocoa powder going into our mixing bowl. If you wanna use sifted cocoa powder, that's absolutely fine. If you're feeling a little bit lazy and you don't wanna do that, then don't bother. We're gonna rush through this and, you know, purists might say you should sift everything first. It is going to do a better job of helping everything just come together. Um, but then again, we're all time poor in this day and age. We're all busy working. So, so not everybody has time for that. So we're going to whiz through this the quick way. Next thing that's going in is some plain flour. If you want to try this with gluten-free flour, then be our guest. But just be aware that you might need to play with the quantities of ingredients. You might want a bit more baking powder if you're using gluten-free. So we've gone with regular plain flour. Speaking of baking powder, we're gonna add some. This is one and a half tablespoons going in. That's gonna help this bad boy to rise because of course, this is vegan cooking, so we're not using eggs. So this is just, you know, letting the baking powder do its job. And guys, now's a good time to tell you that Producer Kathy isn't with us today, but producer Chaz is. So if you've got any questions, do let us know about them in the, in the box below, and I'll get um, Kat, well, I'll get Charles to uh, ask them, and we'll, we'll answer them. Sorry, I'm trying to get all this out. <laughs> it's Monday, we're, yeah. we're just warming up for the week. Um, into our bowl, we've already got our cocoa powder, we've got our flour, we've got our baking powder. I'm now gonna add, and I'm gonna be a rogue, 
most people would say you should stir that together combine your dry mix well before combining your wet mix that is good baking practice but this is Bosch we've got about 25 minutes left so I'm gonna be super quick and just put it all in plant-based milk going in nice and you can use any plant-based milk here, right? Absolutely, any plant-based milk would be absolutely fine. Now the next ingredient, the extra special ingredient here is maple syrup. Why are we using maple syrup, you ask? Shouldn't we be using sugar? Yes, maybe. Maple syrup is kind of a tiny bit healthier than just using raw cane sugar. It's got a lower glycemic index, so that's kind of a little bit better for your body to digest. Also, it just has that slightly nicer taste. Mm. So, um, and also maybe in quarantine, this stuff's easier to get hold of. Yeah, maple Not syrup. easier to open though. <laughs> maple syrup is so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. So I'm gonna put all of this bottle in here. That is 250 grams of maple syrup. Did you know, Ian, that 80% of all the world's maple syrup comes from Canada? Canada? Yeah. Wow. Quebec, actually, in Canada, to Quebec? be more specific, yeah. Fact. Very good. First yeah. fact there. First fact. <laughs> and the, if you watch the Living on the Veg, you'll know all about first facts. The final thing we're putting in is a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just going to eyeball that. That's maybe about a teaspoon. That's going to add that lovely vanilla-y flavour, which kind of makes you think it's even more sweet than it actually is. This is the moment of truth where we were so lazy we just chucked everything in and I'm just gonna stir this and stir this and stir this and you'll feel like it ain't gonna come together but trust us, it is. At some point, it will come together. Oh yeah, it is weird isn't it because it's like, it kind of looks like lava. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like all wobbly on the bottom and then, oh here we go. Here we go, something's right. happening here. This actually was a video that we made for Bosch. Um, the ultimate chocolate cake, and we did it with your friend Harriet Emily. Yeah, that's Do you remember? Right. Yeah. And uh, that video of ultimate chocolate cake had 50 million, it was 50? No, 20 it, it, maybe. It got a lot of views. Like 20 lot, million lot. views yeah. on a chocolate cake. This yeah. is not the same recipe, because we adapted it and made it our own, um, made our own version to put it in the book. Um, but yeah, it's, it's similar, isn't it? It is similar. Yeah, Harriet, if you're watching, thank you very much for the idea for the ultimate chocolate cake. That was a wonderful recipe. And uh, if you're interested, just interested to go and see what Harriet does now, she is um, she does uh, like gong bats and stuff like that. So yeah, she's well worth checking out on Instagram. Um, and also, like I said before, if you've got any questions, do let us know. Producer Charles, not Kathy, because Kathy's got a day off. Producer Charles is in my ear, and he will happily relay any questions that you may or may not have. The other thing about uh, Producer Charles is that he's a man that goes by many names. Many, many names. <laughs> he's also known as Chaz Mataz, the Chiseler, yeah. Chaz Vegas. Chichi Romero, Ch AKA <laughs> Liquid Trigger Finger. So if you can think of any other good names for Charlie, Respectfully nice names, don't be rude, he's an absolute legend. Um, but pop them in the comments below. Look at that, that has come together absolutely beautifully. Oh, you see that, that on top that cam? Does look very, very good. How's that, that? that? I mean, that is, yeah, well, there we go, we've got the focus now. So you can see that's come together. It feels quite wet now as a batter, which is going to make it really easy for me to pour into my cake tins. But trust us, this is going to come together really nicely. Do you want a still shot of that? Uh, Without yes. it wobbling all over the place. Yeah, go for it. A little, little one there. Hands out. Hands in. What we can do if you do one of those up and outs, that'd be amazing. With a spoonful, uh, it's going to dribble everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, are you, you going to spoon it into? Oh, up, up and out yeah. towards me. Okay, yeah. here we go. Up, whoop. There we go. <laughs> Behind the scenes action. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a live Bosch video. Cool. So that is now ready. Do you remember these bad boys? We talked about them before. These little cake tins are gonna sort us right out. If you haven't got two, you will be able to make do with one. Um, you'll just bake it all in one go and then you'll have to do that thing where you cut it in half, which is a little bit fiddly. What we would recommend is just get two. <laughs> and it makes your life so much easier. Nice. Uh, I, do you know what? I'm just gonna eyeball this, Ian. Yeah, go for it. Ian ladled it really carefully before when he made it last time, but what you can do is you can well, literally... Let me just uh, get that. Uh... Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. So Ooh. what we're gonna do, it's so wet, it's so moist, we're just gonna pour that cake mix into our uh, little cake tins and then pop it in the oven. Our oven is already preheated at 180 degrees. Should have said that before. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Boom. 
Okay, ready? Go. Where are we going? This, oh, either. Yeah. Go either, either or. So, this is going to be the money shot. Uh -huh. And where it just gets poured. Mm -hmm. um, would you reckon we'll be able to use molasses um, if, the, if people didn't have maple syrup? That was a question from Charlie just now. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I would say that any kind of sugar can go into this dish. Yeah. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you know, if you had a couple of different sugars in your cupboard, so maybe you've got some light brown sugar, some dark brown sugar, you could definitely um, freestyle it a little bit and have different sugars. Mm -hmm. The key thing you'll want to do though, I'm going to go over here now, is to just, just go on Google and do a little conversion just to make sure that you're getting the right quantity mm -hmm. um, because sometimes the kind of quantities you need will vary between sugar types. I wonder if a, a, a sugar syrup would work. Do you know like the sort of stuff when you make a, a, a espresso martini? Oh yeah. I wonder if that would work. Mm, Maybe. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Look at th this is a very lovely shot you've got going on here. Look at how nice it looks. It looks like the world's most unctuous chocolate mousse. I mean, it's so naughty. Yeah. It's so decadent. I love working with chocolate because it just, it just makes such good visuals. Yeah, it really does. And, and it, it smells smells unbelievable. incredible. So I'm going to top this bad boy up over here. And now we're pretty much in a good place. There's just a little bit left over which someone can kind of get on their finger. Because okay. there's no egg in here. So you're completely fine to have a little, little dip. Do you want a dip? Oh, yeah, go on then. Of course you do. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it is just like a mousse. Oh my goodness gracious. You're going to love that if you do that. And, um, yeah, we strongly recommend that you make this cake because it is quite the dream. And if you don't want to make it, you can always buy it now. <laughs> hey, perfect. See, we got you covered however you want to eat plant-based food. Next up, spatula or wooden spoon. And I'm just going to gently persuade the cake mix out to the edges, just so that we've got a nice, even cake layer. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, doesn't so it? It's quite satisfying to to do it. it must be satisfying to watch as well yeah there we go spoon it around make sure you've got a nice even top because you want an even top because these little beauties are going to sit on top of one another mm. do you remember when we first went vegan and uh like people were always like oh yeah you can't get vegan cakes there's no good vegan cake recipes how do you ever replace egg and now it's just like this there's loads of wonderful recipes out there. Absolutely. And, and I always used to find when you'd go to a restaurant, you would never be able to find a vegan dessert. Yeah, never. Like ever, they, ever. They never had them, but they've all started to get better at it now, which is a great thing. That is now ready. So these little cakes are going to go up and out. <laughs> and I'll be popping them in the oven for 25 minutes. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'll Charles. pop them in the oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Um, and Char sorry, the, the reason why I was just kind of like caught napping there is because um, Charlie has just asked me uh, for an ingredient recap. Now, if you are wanting the ingredients and you're clicking along, marvellous. Um, very easy thing to do. Just head straight over to Bosch.tv um, and all the ingredients for all the recipes that we're going to be cooking this week are on there. Now, the first one we're doing is ultimate chocolate cake. Tomorrow, we're doing lemon drizzle cake from Bish Bash Bosch, which is going to be so good. Wednesday is going to be a carrot cake. Thursday is going to be the banana bread blondies. And lastly, we've got biscoffee cake. It's going to be a good week. Man, you are in for such a treat. Uh, and we are going to need to do a lot of gym work this week to uh, <laughs> counteract all these yeah. uh, cakes. But for a quick, as he, he wanted a quick ingredient recap. So I'll give you one just if you're cooking along with us right now. So I had my bowl. First of all, into that bowl went 120 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of cocoa powder, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. That was our dry mix. Then we added one teaspoon of vanilla extract, uh, 250 mils of maple syrup, and 350 mil plant-based milk. Stir that all together, pop that into two 20 centimeter cake tins, and get that into your 180 degree oven. There we go. That was quick, that wasn't it? Was that was <laughs> basically perfect. like a commentator. Right, quick. I'm very impressed. Um, oh my goodness, and you'll be impressed if you're cooking along. Uh, if you've got any questions, like I said before, just whisper them in Charlie's ear and he shall whisper them in mine. And what <laughs> do we have here? Right, next up, we're going to be a little bit lazy for this one because this is Bosch and we like to get ahead of ourselves uh, with things like a food processor. So I'm actually just going to make the icing with the help of this food processor. It's not necessary. 
you could absolutely do this uh, with a bowl, with a mixing bowl and a whisk and a little bit of, you know, elbow grease. But to make our lives easier and help us get through this quickly so we've got space for Q&As with you lot, I'm going to pop it all in here. And there it is in all its glory. It is ready. Nice the shot there, dude. Nice shot. It's not bad at all, How is about it? about our top shot move that bad boy? Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, right, okay. <laughs> Into this bad boy, we are going to add, first up, cocoa powder. Get the highest quality cocoa powder you can absolutely find. Then we have icing sugar. Really important to get icing sugar. This is not a place you want to substitute your sugars because mm -hmm. icing sugar is going to give us that really fine kind of blended togetherness. And that's what we're looking for. So next up we have dairy-free butter. Again, it's important that you do use dairy-free butter here because we want the, the firmness of it. We want something that's a bit more solid. Oil will absolutely not do. And then a touch of plant-based milk is going to go in as well. Feel free to adjust this to get the right consistency. Finally, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, again, just to get us that lovely, sweet flavor. I'm just gonna eyeball that again. And this will blend together to give an absolutely gorgeous chocolatey icing. If it was on, there we are. Yeah, it should be. Uh, that one, sorry, so if our blender was on, Oh God, is it plugged in? <laughs> we might not be plugged in. Uh, I'll go and plug it in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one sec. If you've just joined, this is Boss Live. I'm Henry, he's Ian, and you're hanging out with us in our kitchen. We live together, as well as my fiance MJ and Darren. We're all like social distancing. You might need to plug in over here. Oh, that, that one's in now. So yeah, you need to plug in there, dude, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're all social distancing and hanging out together, as hopefully many of you are as well, and being safe. So we thought we would just go live with you every night, Monday to Friday, 6pm. That's why we're here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, this week is Cake Week. It's Cake Week because we're celebrating the launch of our new cakes. Here they are, in all their glory. The Boshy Cakes. That is our ultimate chocolate cake. And that is available in the Tesco supermarket in the UK right now. I'm so excited about that. It's like the culmination of all our hopes and dreams, right? Yeah, we've been working for a long time on that. We've been tweaking the recipes, just get them just so we think we're, you're going to love them. And uh, sorry about that messing around just then. <laughs> I just I forgot to plug the machine. <laughs> it's Monday. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's see if this bad boy will blend now. There we there are. Perfect. Blender dance, maybe? Oh, here we go. This absolute beautiful icing is done. Look at that on top cam. Can you see the detail in there? Look at how thick and unctuous it is. Yeah, and, and it's really, it's almost like, it looks like something from a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> I, I wish, I, I don't feel like you can see the, yeah, look at that. Look at the, those lovely little curls, that chocolatey goodness. Give that a smell. Oh my God, it does smell really, really good. And if yours is a little bit too dry, if you're making it, just add a tiny touch, a little bit more um, uh, milk, and then you'll be a-okay. That though is perfect. So, so good. Um, and Charlie has just whispered into my ear, um, if we're gonna be releasing any other cakes other than lemon drizzle and chocolate, and the answer to that question is yes, indeed we are but um, they're not gonna be reaching the shelves just yet. It's gonna be like a sort of a staggered release, but we've got some really good ones up our sleeves and you guys are gonna love them. So, to carry on the story of these lovely cakes, here are two we made earlier. The really important thing with these cakes, once you take them out of the oven after 25 minutes, is to let them cool to room temperature. You do not want a warm cake because your icing is not gonna sit properly on top of it. So take these little beauties out, Make sure you treat them with some love, and we're gonna get ready to ice. Woo, ice, ice, baby! Of course I was gonna say that. Yeah. So, no, no. <laughs> nice plate, looking uh, nice sweet. Plate. Try and get that in the middle of that shot. Very good. Okay, let's take this little beauty and see if he just wants to slide. I don't mind that we've got baking paper on the bottom of the bottom half, because that's gonna help us to give a surface to cut from. Obviously, we'll take the baking powder off, the baking paper off our top half. 
Oh man, it looks good. So Ian is just jigging our side shot. Jiggy, jiggy. So we've got a nice one. Yeah. So the side shot, guys, if you're wondering, is now that. Oh, That's lovely. Really Doesn't that look good? So now I am going to take our icing and we, what we want for this middle layer in between the two cakes, because that's what's happening right now, is we want about a third of the icing. So a third of the icing is going to go in and on top. Nice. Oh, and then we're just going to spread it on super slowly, super carefully, so it looks nice on camera, but most importantly, so it tastes incredible in our mouths. Yeah, I mean, it's thick icing. Like, if you guys are wondering why the cake is quite thin, it's because it's supposed to be rich, it's supposed to be really decadent. It's one of those ones where you only need a small slice, but a small slice goes a really long way, and it goes really well with a uh, vegan latte. Trust us, we've made this. <laughs> yeah, and we've made quite a few vegan lattes as well. Yeah. Now, if you did find yourself, you know, if you're the kind of person who likes being a bit OTT with the icing, I might suggest you could actually double up. Oh. You could actually double up on the icing um, and that'll just give you plenty to play with. And also some left over to just, you know, dip things into if you're that way inclined. Yeah, we were making this earlier on and Darren, our housemate, who sometimes comes down, uh, put his finger in the bowl and was like, that What? Might be, might, that might be the, the nicest um, chocolate icing of all time. And oh, really? <laughs> wow. It was a goodie. So with this bottom layer, just make sure you've got a nice kind of straight surface um, because you need to make sure it's going to support the next layer. There we go, look at that. That will do. Okay. Okay, now we have our second piece of cake here. Oh, Top sorry. cab, Top there we go, is. second one. Now the key thing here is to remember we have some baking paper <laughs> on the bottom of that. So please take that off. Nobody wants to eat that. So let's get rid of that little beauty. And then just carefully whoop, pop it over. That goes on top of our other half of cake. That does look pop good. Pop it down. We have got some lovely cake icing coverage in the middle. And now comes the moment of truth where we just cover all of that cake in this incredible dark chocolate fudgy icing. So who's, who springs to mind when you're doing this? Because I've got someone definitely, definitely in mind when, when you're doing this. Anna Jones. No, not Anna Jones. Because <laughs> we, did, we did a cake like this with Anna Jones. Which actually has gone in, out on Instagram today. Oh really? So, okay, yeah. nice. So yeah, that, we, did, uh, we did a similar cake like this with Anna Jones. That was amazing. Uh, yeah, the, the person who springs to my mind once you're doing this is um, a certain young chap who goes by the name of Bruce Bogtrotter. Ah, yes. Well, that's number two, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> After Anna Jones, it's, yeah. uh, is, is that Matilda? Matilda, yeah. Yeah. Bre I think Bruce Bog Bogtrotter and, um, would love this, and as would Miss Trunchbull. Look at that cake, man. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Do take your time when you're at this stage, you know. This is it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be therapeutic. This is the kind of thing you do on a Sunday, really, not a Monday afternoon. <laughs> um, but just take it all the way around the top. And then if you're that way inclined, you could even ice the edges as well. That would be cool. I mean, this, oh, I like that. this is looking pretty sexy as it is, really. Yeah, mate. You are doing a so, cracking job there. So, for the sake of this beautiful cake, I think we should do the edges. Yeah? Are we yeah. going to have icing? Uh, we've got all this icing in here. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, let's do yeah. a Q&A. While we're doing the Q&A, I will finish off the edges and then we'll be in a good place. Cool, right guys, so now is the time to get your questions in. Charlie, now's the time for you to tell them to me, bro. Here he is. This is a good one. So uh, the question that Charlie has just posed to me is, are we going to be releasing any savoury food in supermarkets to match the sweet? Oh. Henry, you want to take that? No, I'll leave it to you, dude. Okay, Henry's um, making a look at, oh my god, that cake does look yeah. really good. You're going to love this. I'll say to you my cake. Okay, so the short answer is yes. Yes, we are going to be releasing savoury um, morsels into the supermarkets in the not-too-distant future. But I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Um, we've got a few bits and bobs coming, but um, we, we thought we'd start with dessert. 
<laughs> I mean, that's how we like to live life, yeah, isn't it, really? Exactly. Start with the dessert. Have it's the good things well. first. Absolutely. So, good question. It's quite exciting, isn't it, really? And uh, Charlie, yeah, next one. This is from Facebook. Could we use self-raising flour instead of plain flour when making the cake? Now, do you know what? Um, people often ask us questions like that, and um, the answer is maybe. And the reason why the answer is maybe is because we haven't tried it with self-raising flour. Bosch is a very small team. There's me, Henry, there's Charlie, there's Kat, and there's Nat, and that's it. So we don't really have the manpower nor the resources <laughs> to just test all the recipes. So maybe. Test yeah. I think that's the thing, isn't it? You, if you were using the self-raising flour, you might get rid of the baking powder or you might reduce the baking powder, but you'd have to be prepared to freestyle a little bit because baking is quite scientific. Um, the final thing I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be too much of a faff to do these edges in the last three minutes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave this as it is, but what we have here, if you pop on the side cam, so I can, no. There we go, lovely. So we have some chocolate. And just to give us some nice, sexy sprinkles, um, just like this, these little chocolate flakes look absolutely gorgeous on top. Um, there's two ways you could go about doing this. The first one would be using a grater. So this box grater and some high quality dark chocolate. And then you're just gonna kind of grate that little beauty, probably easier with your right hand. Grate that little beauty and you'll get these lovely little shavings of chocolate. Mm. They're gonna look incredible on top of your cake. But if you're feeling like even more high grade, then you can also use a knife and just kind of shave it yourself like that. You might see that better on top, Cam. Mm. Oh, that looks so good. And then you end up with these lovely posh little shavings and if you've got a bit more time you might even get to the level of curls because as someone once told me in australia curls get the girls curls get the girls curls, you curls at that point curls get the girls um i had curls exactly that's why he told me that he's like oh yeah mate curls get the girls i was like thanks uh, i won't tell you what happened after that um right so these little beauties will look absolutely gorgeous you have to be careful when touching them um, but they will look absolutely beautiful on top of this cake you could sprinkle them. You might have them melt in your fingers. So I'm just gonna kind of use this plate to delicately sprinkle them all over the top of the cake. See, I like what you've done here because you've basically exactly replicated the, 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 the yeah. shortcake. Now, you know, if you wanted to take this upper level, you could also use some dairy-free white chocolate, oh. sprinkle them on, two, two, on top too, and they would look absolutely beautiful. That is gonna do for us. I'm happy with that. Looking beautiful, there you have it, in like 28 minutes, our ultimate chocolate cake. Oh my goodness, and to answer a question that's just come in, uh, the question was, could you make these into little muffins or cupcakes? I think the answer is yes. I think yes, you could definitely do that. You probably just want to reduce the cooking time from 20 minutes down to about 16 if they're in those little cupcake pots, and then the icing sugar will be exactly the same. Now that is looking absolutely gorgeous. Should we see that on side? Yeah, man. Come oh, on. Look at that. Look Bruce Bogtrotter, yes. <laughs> I mean, how do we feel? Do we need to cut the cake and eat it? I think we do. Yeah? I think, I think yeah. Yeah, you've done the others. I think you need to cut that bad boy. Any more questions while I do? Uh, yeah, questions, Charles? Here we go. Any recommendations for doing this gluten-free? Could you do this gluten-free? That is a good question. Yes, my recommendation if you want to make this gluten-free, as uh, Charlie's girlfriend would like, is to sub it out for gluten-free flour. But probably give it a couple of tries and just test taking the baking powder up or down depending on how much the dough rises. If it doesn't rise enough, add a little bit more baking powder. If it rises too much, add less. That would be my tip. Um, but next time, let's eat it. Right, let's chop Shall it. I make a oh, wish? Yeah, go for it, make a wish. Oh my god. And the knife sinks in. Do we have any housemates who want any oh, cake? Well. Uh, <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm not going to miss this one, am I? No, absolutely not. <laughs> this is the one, oh my god. It, this, this cake just looks ridiculous. Oh, I mean, yeah. Jesus, it's so good. Uh, Henry's just cleaning up the knife here. There yeah, because I don't want to kind of mess up the slices. No, there we go. Oh Ooh. my god. Uh, you might want to find yourself a little plate, Aaron, because this is okay. super icy. Oh, icy. When, I, when I'm making something like this, 
Where's our focus? Uh, because Darren just stepped in front. One sec. Three, two, one, and... Oh, come on. Lost our focus. We lost our focus. Change the camera. Sorry, guys. There you go. There it is in all its glory from the top. But the focus is now back. Yes! It's so live, honey, it's live. It's all good, it's all good. Um, now, this is a bit of controversy. You can let us know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you need a cup of tea with a cut of cake? A, a cut of cake? A piece of cake. Do you need tea with cake? Definitely not. Definitely no, not? Not needed. Charlie says yes. I know MJ is shouting yes from upstairs. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh my days. Cleared the deck. He's done it. I balanced it. Well, right, Darren. Here we go. Play it over here. Right. Oh, oh, look at that. I've got a cork. That is a good oh, looking thing. Yes. Let's show them what yes. that looks like. Maybe pop that there yes, for a sec. Sure. Come through, turn it round. Okay, there we go. Right, the deal is, Darren, yeah. for you to eat it, you have to cut it right there. Right there. Yeah. Do any particular here or here? Wherever you like, wherever it's going. Cool here. Okay. And can oof. Oof. Look at that. I feel like we all need a fork. Yeah, he's get stuck in. <laughs> can I, so I was listening from upstairs and earlier Ian Ian said that um, I stuck my finger in the bowl. Yeah. Uh, can I just say that I was invited to stick it? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was the uh, it was the remains of the yeah. I hope you wash your hands. Of course, oh, man. I'm pouring to you guys. Thank you. Right, let's go in for a right, taste. Uh, mm. the food shots. Mm -hmm. Go in there. You've got to get a bit of icing for the taste yeah, as well, do. otherwise it doesn't count. It is ludicrously Moorish, this one. I'm going to mm. put it straight back in. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely banging. Mm. Oh, so good, mm. so chocolatey. Mm. That icing is <laughs> ridiculous. Wow. That is absolutely that is incredible. So good. So okay. So good. Good question just came in. Yeah. Which vegan more. butter do we use? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we've got one with our, our name on it. It's called uh, Vitalite. I have to show it, you. It'd be rude not to use yeah, that Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. So um, that's the one that we used. But actually, you know, most of them are pretty good. Um, you can just taste the ones and find the ones that you like the best. This is incredible. Look, Bosch mm. on the uh, on Vitalite. Ah, come on! It's not showing. We'll no do focus. <laughs> Should we show the top? Yeah, top cam. There we there go. There we go. That's what we're using. Bosch on the butter. Bosch on the cake. Bosch on the screen. Oh man, that is absolutely incredible. I feel like my um, pulse has gone up since <laughs> I ate that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. That's probably because it has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. No, so yeah, I mean, it's it's the chocolatiest chocolate cake <laughs> I've ever tasted in my life. It it, it went hyper viral for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Twenty million views. It's here for you free. You can also buy it in the shops. And um, that is our cake for today. Yes. Do subscribe if you're not already. Like the channel, give us that little notification bell and then you'll get notified when we go live, which the next time is tomorrow. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. BST, we are cooking our famous lemon drizzle cake from Bish Bash Bosch. The recipe and all the ingredients are on our website, bosch.tv, go check it out. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited about that. And can I just say a massive congratulations on the cake boy. Oh, hey, nice one, man. Awesome work. Very, very right. proud friend. <laughs> also, uh, interesting fact for those of you who are still here, the photo on all of this food, uh, those food photos, if that will focus, yeah. Yes, look at that. They are by our lovely friend Lizzie Mason, who took all the pictures from our, from our books as well. Lizzie, you're a legend. And everybody who's watched us tonight, you're a legend too. Thank you very much for tuning in. Big love to you all. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. So delicious.